Welcome everyone. I decided that since I did not have a video that showed how to find David Seraph and Bill Taggart, that I would do that now. Um, hopefully some people will recognize where I am. I am out on this outer part. I, I did backtrack a little bit to uh, try and help people understand where I was. Anyways, down this way you have a bunch of these crazy people trying to attack you, whatever. I knocked out a good deal of them. It's in my head. I know it is. Anyways, I'm trying to sneak past them. It seemed to work. Anyways, Bill Taggart is down here at the very end on the top left floor. Um, you have these little pipes or uh, beams or whatever that have fallen across the doorway. You just crouch, go underneath them. It's not too difficult to figure out. There's a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of security system down here. You just peek around the corner. You have a camera down there. Very easy to get past using uh, optic camouflage. You don't even have to do that. You can just time it and run past it. Now, there are more people down here acting like crazy fools. Um, I'm going to glance around really quick. There's that security terminal that you can use. And that security terminal controls a robot, several cameras outside, I think it's two cameras. Anyways, there's a really easy way to sneak past these guys without even picking a fight or anything. Climb up these crates right here, hop up on here, and take a quick job down here. Somewhere... I, I, I don't want it. it. There is a vent. I do not know where it starts. But there's a vent somewhere that goes directly into Taggart's uh, room where he is with some other refugees or whatever you want to call them. People that are hiding out from these uh, zombies, I guess. Anyways come on down here around the corner and this is a security rating of five it's rather difficult to hack if you'll see um, almost as soon as you begin hacking you're gonna have like five seconds so I glanced over it really quick and you see that you can capture this station right here. Access granted. I just burned a nuke on it because capturing that captures every other node automatically. Quick and easy way. In here is William Taggart, several people. There is a vent right here. Like I was telling you, I'm not sure where it goes. I did try stacking crates up to uh, get in it from here, but uh, it proved a little bit more troublesome than I expected. Anyways, talk to Taggart, see what he has to say. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but 
Despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation, rules governing how the technology is developed, and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves like... like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will, but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropocene supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. All right. So that is William Taggart and his uh, idea on the message that we should spread to the rest of the world. Um, if you take a moment out, see a nuke virus. Thankfully, that replaces the one I spent. Not that I really need them. Glance through this computer. Uh, if I remember, we already read this message in another location. These computers quite often have little hints uh, saying, uh, little hints helping give ideas or whatever for the final boss fight. See, this one may not be an outright hint, but it is saying that it's okay to open the pods. It's saying that you can open the pods. And if you've watched my uh, other video, you'll see that it is kind of key to um, defeating the final boss that you do need to open the pods. Um, I'm just going to go back out the same way we came in, use stealth, and these crates right here, you're able to run up them. They heard me, but uh, they can't get to me up on this level. Just quickly drop down head back out on our way. I don't know if there's anything down here. I didn't really investigate it. Nah, it looks like it's just cameras and whatnot. I need to be careful because I didn't disable the robot. Oh dear.
in that other room where uh, crazy people were, there was a computer terminal that we could use to uh, hack those cameras and the robot. But I believe I already pointed that out. <laughs> Anyways, to get to, to uh, David. The best route is actually to go down these stairs. Down two floors. And this is something I found out after the fact that I actually got to almost where David was. There's ladders here that you can climb down and get to a le level um, below all these other people. So they may see you, but they won't attack. They're pretty much helpless to do anything against you. And you can hop up here. Else they don't see. That's no big deal. Yeah. They're stuck in there. They can see me, but they can't do anything. This elevator. Let's see, there was a sign here somewhere. David says that he's in the machine room. Okay, here we go. Here's the sign. Whoa, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> Anyways, this elevator goes down to the machine room. Again, you gotta deal with people. They're a little off their rockers. Uh, to make this next room a little bit easier, I... I'm thinking I'm gonna use the gas grenade. You can sneak past them, you can... Well, I'll show you when we get there. Just come on down this hallway. There's only one way to go, so you don't have to worry about getting uh, lost or whatever. You could even use some of these barrels here if you're doing a lethal playthrough. You could lure some of the people up in here. Well, I guess this is a uh, alternate route that you could take. Security rating of four. I'm just gonna go the way that I normally went. Anyways, there is. Oh, I did not know this was over here. I did know about this. There's a little cubby over here that you can hide in. Give the battery a moment to recharge. There's a guy that will every once in a while go down that hallway and patrol around. Something you need to be careful of. <laughs> that was a very sloppy way of going through there, but um, this hallway right here leads directly, and around that corner is um, the room that David Seraph and his people are hiding in. You can disable these if you can find something to throw at them, or you can shoot them. All these different methods. Get away from me! Get away. Oh. What are you doing here? You're not scared. Go away. Go away. But one thing that you need to be careful of. This fragmentation mine right here. Um, you can't really get to it to disable it. 
I'll sh let's see. I'm gonna buff up my health really quick. There's a high chance I could die. Anyways, if you're really careful, you could maybe... No. <laughs> I guess if you stay close enough to this wall, you don't get hurt. But that's one way to go in. And then you can use heavy lifting to move these objects. If you don't have heavy lifting or you don't want to risk trying to sneak past the fragmentation mines, there is another method where you use the vents. If you see right there, there's a vent. Um, we might be able to reach it. Yeah, we can reach it. This vent runs all the way down to... And there's David Seraph right there. Bunch of people in here also. We'll talk to him. Adam! Oh, thank God you came. I've got wounded here. We'll have to move them first. We can't move anyone yet. Not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities, and Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh my god, you... We gotta fix this, Adam. If people realize what's happened, if they believe augmentation technology created this chaos, they'll ban human enhancement research forever. And that would be a bad thing. Yes, it would! Don't you see what's at stake here? Ever since man first crawled out of that ocean, we've been striving to be more than we are. Augmentation technology is just the latest, greatest step on a very long road. But we've barely scratched the surface of its potential. We can't let fear stop us from continuing. That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. And if we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son. You have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. All right. And that is uh, David Seraph's plan for uh, the message that we need to send out. I don't know what's going on. My microphone is acting all weird again. Anyways, down here, we have some ammo, some stuff in the lockers, no big deal. This computer is also unlocked and we can read it. Really, I'm curious to know who that JC is. I mean, I understand it's a little bit too early in the timeline for uh, JC Denton, but still. And uh, this message here is another kind of clue or whatever. It's telling you that you can open the different pod doors in the hiring core. Um, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it says to access the alpha pod, open pods one, two, and three, and leave them open for the duration of check. Having all three pods open at the same time allows you access to the alpha pod. So that's a little... I guess kind of a hint or whatever it is as to what you can do to fight the final boss. And that was some weird physics. Well, you can uh, exit back out through that vent or 
take this way. You have to be careful of the mines if you didn't disable them already. And yeah, that's it. After talking to both of these men, they will give you the option um, when you beat the game. You will have different choices between which endings you want to do. And after you talk to both David and William, you will have the options to view any of the four endings that you so choose. Anyways, thanks for watching. Tune in to some of my other videos.